Hi, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to have a short mini uh, lecture on how to write case reports. Now an essential characteristic of a publishable case report is certainly the educational value. I have to tell you that writing case reports for journal publication is probably one of the best ways to get started in medical writing. Okay, now most case reports uh, really fall into one of the following topics. Uh, an unexpected association between disease or symptoms, an unexpected event in the course of observing or treating a patient, uh, findings that shed new light on the possible pathogenesis of a disease or an adverse effect, uh, unique or rare features of a disease, or unique therapeutic approaches. Now the next few slides will actually look at sort of an author's checklist uh, for a case report. Uh, take a look at your introduction. Is the rationale for reporting the case adequately explained? Is the rationale for reporting the case adequately substantiated by the references that you use in the paper? Also, take a look at your case description. Is the case described adequately? Is the case described briefly? Is the case described clearly? And are the results of investigations described adequately? Uh, are the results of less common laboratory investigations accompanied by normal values. Take a look at your discussion and comments. Is the evidence to support the author's diagnosis presented adequately? Is the evidence to support the author's recommendations presented adequately as well? Are other plausible explanations considered and refuted? Are the implications and relevance of the case discussed? And do the authors indicate directions for future investigations or management of similar cases? Now I must say that journals differ widely in the formats they use for case reports, so be sure to check out the information for authors. Um, but starting off, the introduction really should be brief. Tell why the case is important to the reader and tell why it's being reported. Well, a little bit about the purpose of the case discussion, and it's usually told in chronological order. Uh, for instance, uh, patients presenting signs and symptoms, chief complaints uh, or complaints, medical history, any relevant family medical history, social history such as tobacco and alcohol use or use of illegal substances, medications being used, uh, notable results of the physical exam and lab tests, a differential diagnosis and of course the final diagnosis and the treatment and the outcome of the treatment is usually found in chronological order. A little bit about uh, writing a, a case report using legal and ethical methods. Uh, it should be noted that a patient should not be referred to by his or her uh, certainly name and not initials in the paper. You should use patient A or some other designator that does not hint at the patient's identity. Um, do not use case, of course. A case is an instance of a disease and a patient is a person. Uh, there are some that, that uh, suggest that you want to use uh, common names even though it's not the patient's name to give a sense that this person is actually a patient. That doesn't work very well. In a case report, it's also important to provide the results of only the relevant examinations and laboratory tests, um, also known as the pertinent positives and pertinent negatives of the case. Uh, list the laboratory's range of normal values for any unusual tests performed. And the purpose of the discussion is to explain anything that's not clear in the case discussion or description. In the case report, uh, make sure that you refer to information in the literature that, that bears on the particular case and be prepared to di discuss uh, how you did the literature search and what you found. And for the case of uh, definitions, uh, uh, let me describe the difference between a case series and a case review. Uh, a case series is uh, if all cases have been drawn from the experience of the author or authors or their institution, you could call that a case series. A case review is if some or all of the cases analyzed have been drawn from published reports, in other words, uh, drawn from your literature review. And lastly, let me say a little bit about patient confidentiality and writing case reports. Um, patient confidentiality may be an issue in case reports if the description of the case is easily recognizable. Uh, patient's informed consent must be secured when his or her privacy is in question. So when publishing any type of article or artwork, the patient's identity should be concealed as a matter of standard uh, practice. Um, however, because case reports tend to be very unique, the case descri description may be enough, even without photos or medical imaging, for a patient to be recognizable. 
For this reason, if there's any doubt, the patient or patient's family should review the manuscript and a copy of the informed consent should be included when the article is submitted uh, formally for a publication. All right, that's it. Uh, so thanks for listening, and I'll see you down the road.